Today we shall look around designing a custom pot around this lovely felt flower design which uses a styrofoam cupcake as its base. Sadly, these do not have a readily available flower pot, so we shall just make one ourselves. For that, we only need a ruler and a free program called FreeCAD. And of course, if you want to 3D print it all, a 3D printer is very useful. Because we are working with a relatively simple object, we can use the rotary function in FreeCAD. This essentially means we will have to make a slice out of the object in which it can rotate to then completely make the entire object. Uh, for that, we will need to take some measurements. That's where the calipers or either a ruler come in. Uh, seeing how we just go for the lines we can easily measure, uh, I will take a look at the diameter of the bottom, which is, if we take a bit of extra play, well, let's round it to 45 millimeters. Uh, then we can take one of the edges, which comes down to a about let's say 37.5 and we can take the very edge here which is about 60. Um, and we can almost create the full object at least a slice we only try, try to estimate a bit of the top uh, yeah well what shall we make it well, if we just take a safe 15 millimeter margin, uh, I'm sure it will work out just fine. Uh, having taken those measurements, uh, we can make up a nice drawing, which we'll go to next. From the measurements that we just took, we saw that the bottom diameter was 45 millimeters, the top was 60, and the side was 37. Sadly, we still do not know the angle that we should angle this 37 millimeters. Luckily, because the bottom and the top are perpendicular, we know that they each overhang by 7.5 millimeters because these three numbers add up. Now to get the, the angle that we have here, uh, we can use the sine function. We can do this by looking at the hypotenuse and the opposite. Uh, we know these two values, uh, rather than make 0 0.2. Then if we use a calculator, uh, get the inverse of the sine, we get 11.5 degrees. We can now use this value to replicate this cupcake as best as we can in the FreeCAD software. As mentioned before, FreeCAD is a free software uh, that can be used to create 3D models. FreeCAD can be downloaded from FreeCAD.org. Uh, it's available for Windows, Mac and Linux. And for this tutorial, we shall mostly be using the part design and especially the sketcher. When we have installed FreeCAD and open it, we are greeted by the following screen, or at least something similar. Uh, what we want to make sure is that we are in the part design functionality and press new to start a new object. Then we add a body to this object, which is highlighted in the task tab. Then we create a sketch to start our drawing. And we are greeted by choosing a plane. I like to just choose the front in the top right corner, which shows us that we want the XZ plane. We press OK here. Uh, we are now in a lovely screen of the sketcher. These are the two centers of our model. Uh, so if we just move, I'd press middle mouse button and drag uh, because we don't need a, the bottom. We only go towards the top. So that's why I like to keep it more into the center of this video. And now we see several options up here, like instant adding a point, adding a line, uh, curved lines, circles, and also the ability to add constraints. For instance, if we want a line to only be a certain length, we can define that using these constraints. In the measurements, we saw that the bottom uh, would be 45 millimeters. Now we only have to do half because we will rotate around the Y axis. So we take here, a half of 45 is 22.5. Now we have the bottom defined. We also saw that the diagonal line coming from here was 37.5 millimeter. I purposely do not set the angle correctly now. Uh, so now we only would have everything up to uh, the largest, largest edge of the model. We can actually uh, make sure the angle is correct now. If I now press right click, we deselect the tool and we pick the angle constraint. Click this line and this line. Now we can define what the angle between these two should be. We determined that was around 11.5 degrees 
if we were to look at a straight angle here but now we have to add 90 to uh, fix this so we come to 101.5 degrees angle now it's also nice to find here uh, the nice thing about working this way is that if we ever change the values here everything goes with it nicely to also fix this value we can say uh, we click the constraint distance click the bottom set it to 22.5 and bam it's set same we could do here 37.5 and now these are always going to be in effect um, and will actually give you an error message or warning if it can if you want to try to do something that breaks these constraints now i like to have a nice extra lip on my model we also saw that the cupcake had a small raise at the top so we shall add a small line uh, i don't make it uh, i know my printer does uh, a 45 degree angle pretty well so i'll just add what shall be two millimeters well, let's just use the constraints again it's easier than fiddling around let's make this two millimeters right so now we'll see that we could do it this way which would be rather finicky uh, to get a perfect angle between this line up all the way up there so i propose we actually cancel this operation and an extra line here place it here make it around 180 so it should you also see like the constraint up here in the lines let's see i'm not good at fiddling with these we actually see this horizontal constraint so we know this will always be on the same line now the nice thing we can do now is between this line this line the same trick we did before 90 degrees plus the 45 that i wanted and bam it's always perfect now we will add a small lip we said that 15 millimeters was somewhat nice we make a nice 15 millimeters so now that we make this 15 millimeters uh we'll just make it connected all the way back here there we go and finally connect this to the bottom we would have a nice model here make the angles between this i don't like it to be perfectly 90 degrees to so make it slightly edged i think we have a nice flower pot design going if we now try to close you shall see that it's nicely designed here but technically speaking this line should not be part of the model if i just click it go here and make toggle construction geometry so it's just it's a guideline basically instead of an actual model line and we will make sure that it's not going to be an issue later on so these are the green lines are now our outline and the blue line here is just guiding line so to say now that we have this sketch we can actually go to tasks uh we select sketch task and we can go to revolution now we can already see that we get transported to this screen it's starting to look like a pot so we will press ok uh, we only made a quarter so we have to turn it to full 360 degrees around the center else we are left with like only half a pot so for example if i were to put 80 in here we only get half a circle uh, let's flip this proper way again click the revolution back and then press 360 to get a full pot one might observe that uh we are still having a solid object right now luckily there's another option for that we just go to this revolution here and in the top here we will find the option called thickness we can now click after you click an edge we can now click and we can determine what the thickness should be as it hollows in that my 3d printer prints uh, lines with a 0.4 nozzle i want it to be three walls thick so three times 0.4 make 1.2 so i'll make the walls 1.2 thick and we press ok and now we have a basic design going uh which is one minor caveat which makes it nice that we are using a parametric design because we made the walls 1.2 millimeters thick the inside also got 1.2 millimeters thinner so if we now want to adjust for that we can actually add to this constraint 1.2 which makes it 23.7 nice thing about the rest of the design because of the parameters everything adjusted accordingly we don't have to adjust anything else now we can close this model we can observe our nice looking pot uh and we are essentially ready to export before trying to export uh, this file make sure to click the body so that all edges are selected and we press export export to s2l uh, i already had the file here so i'll just overwrite it and press save if you do not select any object in the scene it will export as a 1kb file like i did uh, off screen and you will have nothing to show for it then if we open our slicer I use Orca Slice in this instance, but Cura or any other size of your choice works as well. We drag our SVL file into it, and we will see a nice flower pot. 
Now I will say that if you look at the model closely, you will see very clear edge marks as if it's like a low poly render from the file. This is sadly done by Freecad and we will have to just one setting to fix this. So if we go back to Freecad, uh, we will have to go to edit preferences. This opens the settings menu and we will want to go to part and part design, shape, shape view, and we could, for instance, make our view better as well. Uh, if you set this value to low, uh, we will actually might have crashes. Uh, so depending on how strong your computer is, you might want to keep this this specific value low. But now, at least in our viewer, it will go nicely. So if we just make this 10 times as smooth, for instance, we press apply. And for the actual exporting, we want to go to import, export, mesh formats. And for instance, just add a zero in front here. So now it's 10 times more detailed. Now if we press apply and export the file again. So for instance, now we call it flower pot two. We will now also notice that the file is about 10 times as big, but if we go here, drag the new flower pot in there, we'll also notice that it is much smoother. Now all we had to do, uh, removing the old one, we drag it in here, give it a go good old preview and see that in 30 minutes we would be greeted by this lovely little face. So now we have gone through the entire process and we have a nice fitting flower pot around these felt flowers. Of course this is still a rather simple design uh, and if you have more experience with FreeCAD, you are free to do whatever you want, but at least you got the basics down. All the files will be made available on printables.com, so you can easily copy them yourselves. And if you have any questions or comments, please leave them down in the video below. Uh, if you like the video, please like and subscribe, so I know there's more interest to make more of these. And I will see you all in the next one.